Hello viewers, this is Wagadaruna taking you through today's tutorial involving calculations on the various types of probability events, namely independent events, mutual exclusive events, exhaustive events, and conditional events. So we shall start with independent events. So two events are said to be independent if the currency or nanocurrency of one event has no influence on the currency or non occurrence on the of the other event for example if i have a die and a coin and i toss a die and i also throw a coin the probability of getting ahead on a coin is not affecting the probability of getting any number on the die so in that case they are independent events the probability is for a die, for tossing a die and the probability is for getting ahead or tail of the coin. So if events A and B are independent, then probability of A intersection probability of B, sorry, probability of A intersection B will be equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. Similarly, if there is a complement here, you also put a complement there. If there is a complement on A, add a complement on B. If there is a complement on both of them, add a complement on both of them. So that is condi that is independent events. Another type of events is called mutually exclusive events. So two events are said to be mutually exclusive if they cannot happen at the same time, i.e. the currency of either event excludes the possibility of the currency of the other event. Thus, for mutually exclusive events, either one event or the other but not both can occur. So in other words, if events A and B are said are mutually exclusive, then their intersection must be equal to zero. Another type of event is called exhaustive events. So events A and B are said to be exhaustive if their union is equal to one. So the last event is called conditional events. So two events are said to be conditional if the currency or nanocurrency of one event has an influence on the currency or nanocurrency of the other event, i.e. the events are no longer independent. Therefore, for events A and B, for any events A and B, the probability of A, given that B has already occurred, is written as a slash b so this one is pronounced as a given b this slash means given and is defined as probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b so get the intersection of both events divided by what is here after the slash which is probability of b therefore a intersection <coughs> probability of a given b is given by probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b when we make when you cross multiply we shall come up with probability of a intersection b being equal to probability of b multiplied by probability of a given b so i think you should note that what is here is what is there similarly the probability of b given that a has already occurred is written as probability of b slash a so this one is pronounced as b given a and is defined as probability of A intersection B over probability of A. So probability of A intersection B is from this, the two events, which is A intersection B or B intersection A, they mean the same, over what is here after the slash, which is probability of A. So that is what we call conditional probability. So when, when you cross multiply, you'll we'll be able to get probability of A intersection B being equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B given A. So note that what is here is the same as what is there. So we shall use those events to come up with the solutions to the following problems. A and B are independent events such that probability of A is 0 0.35, probability of B is X, and probability of A union B is 0 0.74. Find Roman 1, the value of X, and Roman 2, probability of A given intersection B complement. So remember they told us the events are independent. So this time we no longer use set theory. What we use is the events, the conditions for the events. So for conditional, for independent events, 
A intersection B is equal to the product of probability of A and probability of B. So you are given the probability of A which is 0 0.35, probability of B which is X. So come and apply the two. We shall be able to come up with 0 0.35X. From there we know the rule for, we know the expression for A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So come and substitute, you know probability of A is 0 0.74. Probability of A, sorry, probability of A union B is 0 0.74. Probability of A is 0 0.35. Probability of B is X and intersection B is 0 0.35 X. So when we simplify, we shall come up with X as 0 0.6 and that's what they wanted. For Roman 2, they wanted probability of A intersection B complement. So we have to first get the probability of A intersection B which is equal to 0 0.35x. Substitute for the value of x, you come up with 0 0.21. So that is our intersection. Then know this expression that probability of A is equal to probability of A intersection B plus probability of A intersection B complement. So in this case we shall substitute A is 0 0.35, A intersection B is 0 0.21 and this is what they want. So there we shall make this the subject we can come up with 0 0.14 and that will be the answer required. Problem 2, given the events A and B are mutually exclusive and that probability of A is equal to 0 0.2 and probability of B is 0 0.8, 0 0.4, find probability of A union B. So you have to remember the condition for mutually exclusive events, their intersection is equal to one, 0. So after getting that, you come and ex state the expression for A union B, which is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So substitute probability of A was given as 0 0.2, probability of B was given as 0 0.4, and A intersection B, since it's mutually exclusive, it will be equal to 0. So in the end, we shall come up with 0 0.6 as our probability of A union B. For problem 3, given the events A and B are exhaustive such that probability of A is 0.63 and probability of B is 0.45, probability of A find, here they want us to find, probability of A intersection B. So for exhaustive events, the probability of A union B is equal to 1. So come and state the expression for A union B being equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So probability of A union B is known as 1. Probability of A was given as 0 0.63, come and put it there. Probability of B was given as 0 0.45, come and put it there. Minus probability of A intersection B, which you want. So when we make A intersection B the subject, we shall come up with 0 0.08, and that will be the answer required. Problem 4, A and B are even such that probability of A is equal to 2 over 5, probability of B is 3 over 8, and probability of A intersection B is 1 over 4. Find Roman 1, A given B, Roman 2, B given A, then Roman 3, A complement given B, and Roman 4, B complement given A. So we shall start with the probability of A given B, is given by the formula A intersection B divided by what is here after the slash, which is probability of B. We know that probability of A intersection B was 1 over 4, and probability of B was 8 over 3. So when you divide the 2, shall come up with 2 over 3, and that will be your answer. For Roman 2, they wanted probability of B given A. So the intersection of the 2 divided by what is here after the slash, which is probability of A. So probably the intersection was 1 over 4, probability of A was 2 over 5, when you divide the 2, you'll come up with 5 over 8, and that will be the answer. For Roman 3, they wanted probability of A complement given B. So it's given by A complement intersection B divided by what is here, which is probability of B. But we don't know the probability of A complement given B, so you have to first get it. It's given by probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So probability of B is 3 over 8, probability of A intersection B is 1 over 4. When you subtract the 2, will come up with 1 over 8. So now that we know the probability of A complement given B, we can come and substitute in this expression to get the probability of A complement given B. 
which they want as 1 over 3. And lastly, probit of B complement given A. It's given by the expression probit of B complement intersection A over probability of A. So you have to first get the probit of B complement intersection A as probit of A minus probit of A intersection B. So substitute for probit of A, probit of A intersection B, and you'll be able to come up with 3 over 20. Now that we know the probit of B complement intersection A, we shall come and substitute in this formula to get the required probability. So it will be 3 over 20 divided by 2 over 5. So you'll come up with 3 over 8. So that's how they answer questions on probability events. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa eLearning Platform.